It's Medically Mel, and I am so excited for today's video. We are starting a new unit, and I'll be giving you all a walkthrough of how I use Notion to stay on top of all my assignments, quizzes, and exams in medical school, and how I use it to really not just survive, but thrive. So let's hop right in it. So our first step is going to be adding a page in Notion. So I'm going to click Add a Page over here. And I'm going to go ahead and name this page. That's going to serve as my master to-do list for this unit. So I'm going to name it Neuro. And then I'm going to go back and select the data page type. And for this, we're going to select table. Next, you'll see it'll pre-populate with a name and a tag uh, column. And we'll use both of those. I'd like to just start by showing you all how to make a new column in Notion. And it's really simple. Um, so you click the plus button there, type in a name for the column, and then you can select the column property. There's text, there's checkbox, and we're going to make a bunch of them. So now I've created all of my columns for our master to-do list, and I'm going to walk you through each and every one of them. So the first one we created was a date column, and this is so Notion knows that any number I type in there is a date, and it'll pre-populate that in that format. Next, we kept that tag column with the multi-select property, and we're going to use that for the subtopics for each lecture. The name column is going to serve as the lecture name. Then we created a done checkbox column. And that is with the uh, checkbox property type again. Next, I created a notes column. And I really just like using this for any um, outstanding tasks, anything I want to research more, questions I might have, or if anything the professor noted as really high yield, that's going to be on the exam. And I want that at the forefront of my mind. And that's just the text property subtype here. Next, I created a rating column. And that is with the select subtype uh, or the select property type in Notion. And I'll show you um, how I use that a little bit later. I created another checkbox column for whether or not I made Anki cards for the given lecture. I, another checkbox column right next to that is for practice questions after the lecture. And then I created um, a column for every pass that I'd like to get through um, that unit. And so a pass is any time I've reviewed or gone back to the unit after creating my original study materials. So I like to do, in an ideal world, three passes before the exam. So I have one column um, for my first pass, another column for my second pass, and then you'll see a third column for my third pass as well. And that is just all with the text property type um, there in Notion. And then finally, I love this feature, which is a file column. So I can attach um, any notes, any documents, images that really help me. I can just pop them right in there with the um, files in media subtype or property type in Notion. And selecting that will allow me to quickly pull in images online that I like or any other additional documents. Next, you're going to see that I have already pre-populated on the right-hand side an Excel sheet with all of um, my lecture activities, all the upcoming due dates, every single thing that I have for this unit. And then on the left-hand side, we have that Notion database we just created. And what I'll start by doing is just copying it in super quickly, um, all the dates that I have into my Notion database from this Excel sheet that I made using all my syllabi from this unit. And then next we will type in or pull in all the names of each lecture um, from that same Excel sheet. I'm gonna go in and manually tag each and every lecture um, as a subtype. So whether it is a lecture, whether it is a lab, whether it's a gross lab or what have you, I'm going to go in and tag that in the multi-select. Um, and I'll change the color for this. But the multi-select feature is really nice because it allows you to apply multiple tags to the same exact lecture. So if it is also a, next, a lecture, but I want to sub-tag it as radiology or I want to sub-tag it as a different topic, I can do so. 
So I'm going to fast forward and add all of the tags in for every lecture, and then I'll meet you guys back here when I am done. Alrighty, so now you can see we've added in all our tags for all our lectures, and our database is pretty much up and ready to go. So the multi-select feature as allows you to add two tags to the same item. So if it's a lecture, but I also wanna tag those that are radiology, I can have both those tags there and filter them as needed. And so this is really my favorite um, thing about Notion. And that is the different views. This is what makes Notion super helpful. So I'm gonna go over and click add a view. And the first view I really like adding is our calendar view. So I select calendar and then I'm just gonna go in and name it as such. And this just allows me to get a great um, overview of everything that I have to do for the unit in calendar format. So all my lectures, everything that I noted or that I had a date um, assigned to in our database is here in Notion and you can view it by date and you can see easily see what's upcoming, um, what already passed and, and what your schedule is going to look like ahead. And I love, love, love being able to turn that table database into that. So we're going to go back to the default view again and then there's another view that I really like and that's the list view. And so I'm going to click add list and I'm going to name it just plain and simple list and click um, create at the bottom when I am done. And so here I get to see everything, a clear cut just list of everything that I have due for that unit. And what's also nice is if you go up and you toggle those three, those three dots and you click property, you can also add other things you want to see. So if I want to see all the lectures that I've done, that checkbox I created, and then also all the ones that I have attached files for. I'll click that and now I can see the checkbox of everything and it's so convenient. Another view that's really helpful is a board view. So I'm gonna go back and create another view, type in board and click create. And it will show you kind of a running list of all the items you have. And if you go to property, I'll show you how exactly I click that rating feature. I'm gonna go to properties, toggle that on, and then I'll go back to our default view and I'll give you some examples. So with the rating column, I like to say whether, how I'm feeling after I've done a lecture, whether it went good, whether it went bad, not so good. Um, and I add that using the select tool. And so I add that in there here. And I go back to my board review. Now I can see all the lectures I've marked as good, not so good, and all the lectures that have yet to be reviewed. And it gives me a nice little count there um, of how many belong to each category. So I know exactly where I stand or what needs to be prioritized. Um, so that is really it. There's nothing as satisfying as going through and checking all my lectures off as done inside of Notion as I go through the block in the semester. And it's really been so, so helpful keeping me on track. And so if you've liked today's videos, please click like, subscribe, um, and that notification bell to see when I have new videos. See you guys next time.